born and raised in a village upper mountainous area to educated parents well apart from the educated part i think my life in the places that i have been to and lived is a true depiction of someone who has seen everything someone who has been poor someone who has lived with the poor someone who has seen the poor grow to become rich and someone who has seen the poor stay poor i've been raised in a big family of luckily both parents and four more siblings a family of missionary parents who dedicated their lives to working for church wherever they are called regardless of the pay or living condition this means that i've experienced a life of plenty and a life of scarcity i've experienced living with the privileged and the poor i've seen many things i've seen families beg for food i've seen people live for less than a meal a day i've seen children go to school without shoes I've seen people wear the same clothes for ages. I've seen people get angry at the rich. I've seen and heard people in my neighborhood to live become rich from rags fairly through hard work only to get murdered in cold blood by friends just because they succeeded. I've seen diligent and hard working people. I've seen unfaithful people. I've seen jealous people ruin people's careers. I've seen people being ridiculed, insulted and laughed at. for being different I've seen people get hate for being a different tribe I have been and also seen people get told to go back to where they come from I've seen people make promises only to break them in crucial moments As a family we jointly started small businesses and when I finished college I was led to have one to myself so that it may help me kick start my life. The business was a stationary business with two copiers and a Pentium PC. In there I had to hire people on different occasions who would run it for me as I make ends meet elsewhere. It being a small business I never would have imagined it being such a big teaching experience. In there I got employees who were so faithful and committed to the business as if it were their own. I would literally leave the business with them for months and they would take care of the businesses and the machines, balance the books, not taking a penny from me. But in the same business I got employees who could not be left for even hours without being supervised. Very unfaithful employees who would make money only to report less than half of what they earned in that day employees who would leave everything untidy handle the machines poorly to the extent that the machines would cost all the money that these people made a day to repair and replace the machines i have made acquaintances along the way and friends everywhere i have been they too have taught me very many great lessons I have seen some of my friends make fortunes from nothing but I've also seen my friends excel highly from school only to spend their entire lives moving up and down trying to make ends meet. I've seen people call others crazy for having big ideas. I had always thought that life hasn't been fair to some people or to many people. I to a greater extent still think the same way. It's true that life is not always fair. At even some moment I believed on the suggestion of getting money from the rich and giving it to the poor. But after experiencing life with different people and living with different people, I learned this important lesson. Success in as much as there's a component of luck and privilege, it has never been a fluke. And getting from the successful and giving to the poor in some cases is one of the greatest robbery ever. It is easy to be poor but it's extremely difficult to succeed and by success I don't mean material wealth but hitting milestones the amount of sacrifice and hard work failure pain and loss that someone has to bear to become successful is something that 99% of the poor are not willing to bear people are not willing to humble themselves people are not willing to give up hobbies for the sake of achieving a goal people are not willing to work diligently without supervision people are not willing to get ridiculed for thinking differently people are not willing to give up a comfy bed people are not willing to give up a meal they are not willing to give up an unsupportive relationship people are not willing to give up a party life they are not willing to give up a negative community people are not willing to give up their all just to succeed 
and when success does not come knocking at their door, they wage war against the successful, or they wage war on the successful. Success is a culture. It has a way of life. A way of success needs no compromise. It's a way of persistency, a way of never giving up, a way of reading, a way of learning, a way of sacrifice, a way of saving, a way of giving, a way of faithfulness, a way of love, a way of listening, a way of hope, a way of patience. It is true that there are people who don't play safe in this game, people who are corrupt and extensionists. But if you ever want to be successful in life, then don't do it by demanding that people be stripped of years of gain through hard work, pain and loss, but rather sign up to the culture of success today.